Good morning. It's Thursday, the 5th of May. This is Coffee with God. If you have your Bibles, let's go back to John, the Gospel of John, chapter 18, and we're going to look at verse 37, 38 together. Uh, trust you've got a decent cup of coffee. I've got a nice double espresso this morning. Nice and strong. Nice way to start the day. Um, yesterday we spoke about the fact that Jesus was arrested and we looked at Pontius Pilate and we looked at, at Peter as two examples of, of how we sometimes lose our faith and the reasons why we doubt in our Christian walk. But listen to verse 37 and let's just focus in on truth here. Uh, Therefore Pilate said to him, so you are a king. Jesus answered, you say correctly that I am a king. For this I have been born. And for this, I have come into this world to testify to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth, who is on the side of truth, hears my voice. And then Pilate said to him, what is truth? And guys, so often we, we speak to somebody, we, we having a conversation with someone, and something what they're saying just doesn't ring true. Another person, we don't know them from a bar of soap. We don't know them from a bar of And they begin with us to talk and we feel, I don't know, but that's the truth. I trust you. Um, there's not something in us that says, here is the truth. And um, it's important to, to be able to discern between truth and error. And we know that the devil is the father of lies. He's the one who twists the truth of God. He even knows the scriptures. He quotes it to Jesus when he tempts him in the wilderness. But he twists it just that little bit. And the Afrikaans Bible, the 2020 version, this verse 37 says, Die wat in die waarheid gegrond is. And I love that uh, expression. Those who are grounded in truth will listen to Jesus voice and I want to say to you this morning um, when we hear the truth when we recognize the truth when we know the truth Jesus says the truth will set you free that's why truth is so important and it's important to be grounded in truth um, to live by the truth of the word of God Jesus is the word the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us and if you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. So Jesus in us, in the form of the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, the Holy Spirit leading us into all truth, helping us understand, know it. So we've got really, we've got no excuse to not be grounded in truth. And Pontius Pilate says three times, I can find no fault in him. I can find no fault in him because He's confronted with truth, but he doesn't want to accept it. And that's why he says, what is truth? I mean, truth is standing in front of him. Truth is testified. He himself, within his own heart, realizes this is truth. These people, that's why he gives the crowd and he gives the Pharisees and the leaders chance after chance to, he beats Jesus, has him whipped, has him has him uh, slapped through the face, crown of thorns, purple robe, paraded before them. Maybe they feel that he's been punished enough and whatever it is they've got against him, they'll let him go because that which they accuse him of, of, of is not truth. And it doesn't settle in Pilate's heart and yet he doesn't act on it, although he has the authority and the power and the might to do so. And in Acts chapter 2, when Peter stands up in Jerusalem and he preaches, this Jesus Christ was crucified by you. And he, he lists some names there. Pontius Pilate's name is there in Acts chapter 2. You see, if you know the truth and you don't do it, the truth will come out. Like God, at the right time, truth will be revealed in your life. So it doesn't help uh, how long you try and keep a secret, how long you try and live a lie the truth will come out at some stage um in truth's timing oftentimes we want people to 
to know the truth about us and they believe in the lie. And sometimes it takes a long time for people to come around to the truth. And we would like it to come around faster, sooner. But truth comes around in God's time. And our righteousness is revealed by the Lord as the noonday sun at the right time. So ground yourself. Die wat in waarheid gegrond is, sal na my stem luister. So ground yourself so that when God speaks and you, it resonates, the spirit witnesses with your spirit that this is truth. Then don't bend truth. Don't, don't put truth out there and hope other people will find it and help you live it. You live every day to the best of your ability as the spirit leads you in truth and bring glory to God through the process. Jesus says, I have been born and for this I have come into the world to testify to the truth. Come on, guys. Let's testify this day to the truth in our lives as we live out a life that is God-pleasing, God-honoring as we seek to obey and honor Him in all that we say and do. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. May the Lord bless you.